Okay. Oh. As I go through these instructions, if you don't understand anything or if you have any, um, some rules here. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I saw so, it. Rule, now we can get on the bike. So am I the last one again? Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, okay. So we'll use the, the, the vest. Así como de Chota de Juarez. Chingao. Okay. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are riding the BMW R9T and it's the option 719. Look at that beauty. So we are in Macuso Power Sports Southwest. We're demoing some bikes. I already tested the X9, the, the F900XR. And right now we're gonna test ride this one. I already tested one of these, but I didn't have a good experience. So I'll tell you about it in a later video, but this one looks very beautiful. So let's see how she rides. So the first thing is, well, like all BMW, all these things, they look pretty nice. They have the same mirrors, I think, as on the X, uh, F900XR. So that's one of the things that is particular about BMW. They have this boxer engine. This one has a steering damper, look. But they have this boxer engine, when you turn it on, they, they do this. You see how the bike moves from side to side when you just give it a little bit of acceleration. So a lot of people love it. I'm not sure if I like, like that or not. But what I do like is the fit and finish on this bike and the premium paint job. So I don't know if it's one of those things that the problem with this bike is that it's too expensive for what it is. It's a retro style bike and it's not that powerful. I mean, it is pretty powerful. But it's coming around uh, a lot more expensive than, let's say, a Speed Triple. I mean, a Speed Twin. Uh, there was one back there. Maybe we can see it. Maybe I can take a picture of that. If not, well, just insert a picture here of the Speed tra Twin. So this one is a lot more expensive. And, oh, and this is nice. As opposed to the uh, F900XR, which was uh, had a very crappy uh, filling gearbox, this one feels, at least the shifter is very, very smooth. So it does have modes. It's road, rain, road. Okay, let's keep it in road. Uh, you see, this is, this is the way a BMW should be when you want to put it in neutral. It just slides into neutral, no problem. Look at that, it's so soft. I love it. So maybe we'll talk about why I didn't like the R90 the, the first time I I rode one. I went to a dealer. I'm not going to mention the dealer because they've been nice ever since. But that day, they were horrible. They announced the demo day. And when I got there, they didn't have it. And then, well, I just asked, hey, I want to demo the, the, the bikes. So they asked me, which one you want to demo? All right. I guess it's going to be in a different video that I, we talk about that. Anyway, let's... Okay, so the first thing is, this bike feels a lot heavier than my R7 and the, the F900XR, which I've been riding today. A lot heavier it feels, in, uh, but it's not 
difficult to move around even though it felt but it does feel uh, well heavier and it doesn't feel as as new which is well kind of a whole point of these uh, retro bikes but I like the retro styling but I like to have a modern style bike all right oh man I love that shifter it's so smooth oh the brakes <laughs> the brakes have some bite all right, so let's follow this guy. Okay. So it's weird because it is kind of a modern bike on brakes and gearbox. We haven't really tested the suspension yet, but then it has this engine and this chassis that is well that is old that is retro so that's that's different um again i'm still not convinced that i like this bike or not and it's just that price tag i mean if if it were a a much cheaper bike or a much more afford if it were more affordable bike then of course uh, I would be I would have it in my sights but being that expensive it's uh because I would be comparing it to to another naked bike <laughs> it just feels so weird when it moves around like that but I would have to compare it to another naked bike even even if it's just it's a retro styling thing it's still a naked bike that's what you're going to use it for it's going gonna, it's gonna to be for maybe uh, on the weekends you're going to go and have fun but you're going to use it to commute right so as an everyday commuter would these, this be better than my GSXS 1000 I don't think so nope not by a long shot. Now this one does have oh, what was that? It does have character. I don't like the way the chassis handles the bumps. It feels like you're hitting something in the bottom of your bike. Yeah, as I said, it is powerful, but not that powerful. The seat! The seat is it's comfortable and it has a lot of room. You can move around on it a lot. I don't know what... Uh, Okay, so when you're doing a demo like this, you don't want to stay with the group so close that you don't have space to maneuver. So being here, the last one, I like it because you can actually test and see how the bike feels. Now, one of the things that I'm having trouble finding is the gear indicator and the gauge for the fuel. I believe this one does not have any of those so I think it's the, the R9 T Pure because it only has one clock but the other ones have two clocks but having all these options is going to make this bike more expensive than a GSX-S 1000 now my GX-S 1000 my Suki is a lot better than this bike <laughs> Now this is my friend Sean trying to uh, pull around and he's going to get us kicked out of the demo ride. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know what gear I am, I'm riding in. 
so no clue. But you know what? It is a nice bike because it, you can move around and go. If you can have to mute on this one, you would have no issue. No issue at all. Because you have plenty of power to get around traffic. But it's more of an exercise in styling now. So I'm going to tell you what I think about this bike now. For real. The brakes are good. Right? Suspension is not great, but it's good. The, uh, the gearing, I mean, the, uh, the shifter and, and the transmission is, is it's pretty awesome. It's the best thing about this bike, I think. And it is 40. I mean, you can drop it no problem. But another thing, I don't know about that engine, but just because of the styling, if I had the money and I could buy any bike I want, like as many bikes as I wanted, this would be in my stable, no problem. Both these, if, uh, both these BMWs would be in my stable because they're very well put together bikes and they look incredibly good both of them so different very different look and feel but but they're both very good bikes now this one in particular yeah to commute every day man you have no problem no issue now one of the things that this one makes better than my uh, than my Suki, which is the one I'm comparing it now because that's the one I have. One of the things is sometimes you want a bike like this because the Suki scares the hell out of me. Every time you hit a bump, it's like going and going. It's very snatchy and very powerful. This one doesn't feel as powerful, so you feel comfortable that you can cruise around on it no problem. But then, as opposed to uh, a very big cruiser, you do have enough pep to get you out of trouble. So for an everyday commuter, I think, I think this would be a very good option. I'm not saying it's a perfect option because, I mean, not knowing if you're in first gear, for example, is very annoying. I need to know. I need to know, right? Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know. Um, now, the way that it handles this type of bumps, it's not the greatest on the suspension, but, but it's sporty, which is fun. likes that bike and I like it as well so one of the things as I said it's not a perfect bike because I wouldn't like uh, not to know where the gear and I wouldn't I would hate not to know if I'm getting running out of gas because yeah I'm pretty stupid and I forget to gas up every time I ride so dropping a gear and disappearing and turns out I was in the right gear all along I mean you do feel it you should be able to feel it but well that's one of those things I like these mirrors I mean BMW has these mirrors on I mean at least these two bikes and they're good they don't vibrate at all and then you have plenty plenty of uh, 
funny a view from uh, from back there that I think is one of those things that I was expecting not to be as good. You can stand up on this bike. I mean, it has a lot of things going for it. And the very few things to take you away from it. The character of the engine, I don't love it. But if you're the, maybe you're the kind of guy who likes these boxer engines. And if you like the boxer engines, then, then that's not a negative for you. So, the biggest one for me is the price tag. A little bit too much money for this bike. I love it that, that when you demo a bike, they let you go on free. It's the only way you can actually know. Now, as you can see, this, this boxer engine, even though it's been worked and tinkered with forever, it's still a very old design. That little F900 can keep up with this bike, no problem. And just because of this bike's configuration or, or architecture and the and the weight weight also affects a bike a lot I don't think this bike has a quick shifter so on this one I will not try it <laughs> and I don't know what Sean is doing or saying but I think it's also motor blocking so let him do his thing and enjoy these bikes because these bikes are well that's what they're for to enjoy they're not just a transportation and they're not just for commuting they are well they put a smile on your face why I'm telling you about why I need to know which gear I'm in because even though you can feel it once you get used to it maybe but since I don't only have one bike if you only have one bike you're gonna be able to to know when to shift and in what gear you're in no problem but when you're jumping from one to another well it, it gets used to it you need to get used to it so I'm not gonna know ever and which gear I'm in and that gets me really frustrated I mean this is 2022 how can a bike not have a gauge how can a bike not have a gear indicator it's it's I don't know it's unbelievable and now we have a friend with a ninja that wants to join our little group ride thinks it's a group ride no it's not it's a demo BMW, BMW so get out of here so the brakes as we said they're good but I don't think they're as good as the ones or maybe it's because the bike is heavier but the F900 <laughs> Sean could find neutral on that bike I couldn't yeah it's an exercise in aesthetics this bike is beautiful and I would love to have it just so that I can dress up and and I was thinking even getting the, scr the scrambler model with some knobby tires that way if you have a ranch house you can visit you can go uh, a little bit off-road not like trail riding or anything but just 
if the, if the street is not paved, you can do that. On a bike like this, and feel like uh, you're Steve McQueen or something. I don't know. That ninja looks like a CX-10R, but I may be mistaken. It is CX-10R from like 2015, maybe. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I love the way it handles too. Yeah, I, I have a. Uh, I struggled to finding neutral. I I struggled with the, and the quick shifter is not very good. But everything else is awesome on that one. <laughs> He's enjoying himself on that F nine hundred. Let us ask our friend in the Kawasaki, what year is this bike? Let's see, let's do a personal bet. Hi, how old is, uh, what year is your bike? 14, 14. okay, because I'm oh, doing a motovlog, I thought it was 15. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm actually going to be joining you in a second. Ah, okay, yeah, because we're, we're, we're demoing all these bikes. Yeah. And that one's awesome, except doesn't have as much power. And this one, well, it's very nice, it's just too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, the shifter on this one is so much better. It's very nice. I love the transmission on this bike. And we're going again with these little bumps. I don't know what it is. What it is, it just feels very weird, very wrong. You can feel, you can feel it all over, as if somebody was were knocking on the on the on the bike. On the motorcycle. Very weird. Ah, los moquitos. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And send it to all your friends. And if you didn't like it, well, hit on. I don't like it and send it to all your enemies. And I'll see you on the next one.